Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. The restart. Sitting and it takes like, them like three hours to download the patch. It takes them like an hour, realistically, for like a 15 megabyte patch. We're all here on camera. They see you slowly adjusting the audio down. <laughs> remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Mighty dangerous. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but Radiant what pairs perfect with Sand King? Go back a couple days, a couple years, ten years. Sand King's Fen, no, chain no. stuns. <laughs> oh boy. Is that how much it's evolved? Like, ten seconds. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I guess it was a lot harder in Dota One to do fake Five combinations and. I'm kind of mumbling on here, so I'll stay out of it. I don't know, Dota 1 is... Guns are good or something. I don't necessarily know why. Probably the same stuff. Always. Undying Sand King. Oh no! It's oh, gonna happen. Here it comes. Oh, good game. That's Just uh, that's call it. it. Not today's gonna ban... Uh, they're gonna ban Sven, so they're not tempted to pick it later. <laughs> Take it away from us. Yeah. One of their players will have to go fight the captain momentarily while the other one takes his mouse. They're having, they having a fist fight outside like SG did for the first game. Wasn't uh, Warlock first two banned in the previous two games? I think so. Now it's through and neither team really cares too much about it. Well, not yeah. that I picked it all the time, but you're right. I don't think I, they'll, they'll pick it here. Well, maybe. We'll see. I feel like they won't know that they pick Undyne. Yeah. I feel like grabbing Warlock and Undyne is a little bit too yeah, lane winny and not enough like other stuff. Yeah. We'll see. More bands coming. Ogre ban. No. Oh. It'd be really funny if SG banned uh, the Sven. What if SG you know? takes What if SG <laughs> takes Sven as a, as a four position support? Shows Just him like, what's up. Yeah. How to play it. This is how you play Sven. Let's protect the Luna. Right. <laughs> With Warcry. Auto armor. Guaranteed that Lunar Blessing can deal maximum damage. Mm hmm. There, it's a block pick, so they don't no. pick it to counter the, the Lunar Blessing oh, bonus damage. Back. Speaking of the Warlock, by the way. Yep, out of the game. I guess they could have done like a dual offlane or something. Would have been annoying, but surely you do that with the Undyne. It's weird. Tanking Undying sounds like uh, quite the tough lane to play into. Yeah, this is about fun. So, do you think, like, other just gonna maybe send Sand King solo offlane and then have him, like, just head to the jungle with an Iron Talon if, they, if he needs to get farm or something? Probably not with the Undying. Yeah. Undying will definitely enable him to be. Like, really strong in the offlane. Let's go, Sand King and Dying. That seems so obnoxious to deal with. I think Dying plus anything is really annoying. Radiant team back. 
behind Suntor. Yeah. Does that do anything? I don't look at you, and then you try to hit him, and then you're like, shit, I don't do any damage. <laughs> That's about it. And you can just sit around. What about Undying Ogre? Undying Dark Warden. Even oh, though, God. even though it might not be like the highest kill potential with like Centaur or whatever, it still like zones him off and gets you experience and stuff. God, so. Arc Warden, the worst thing in the world. Arc Warden. Reserve time. I played a game as Arc Warden like two weeks ago. It was awful. My hero got real dark. That was my first game as Arc Warden ever as well. Ever? Oh, you waited way too long, dude. I know. Yep. I we won actually. I just went super right click heavy, and it turned out pretty well. The thing that bothers me now is like. You, you essentially can only you can make one you can make the tempest double it can go and clear one creep wave and that's it. Odds. Are you talking about the duration is too low? Yes. I don't. I mean, it, it might not be too low, but it just it's like it, you can't really like siege or, or push as much as you would like to. But I feel like you should be more of a spellcaster based on true. how his skills work. But that's true. That's uh, that's Dota for you. That's where he's fun. Get like blink hex or something. Just like jump in and do a bunch of stuff. His abilities are so weird. <laughs> Not really. Spark Wraith. I like Spark Wraith a lot. But Flux is like. I don't know. Flux used to be so OP. Yeah, they definitely nerfed the hell out of like him in 50 general. Fifty percent slow through BKB. Yeah. yeah. That shit was so dumb. I leaned against him with a with a Omni once, and I cast her upon myself, and I was still slowed. I was like, what Are you this? effing kidding me? Ice Frog. Hello. Yeah, that's. We will not see an Arc Warden in this game. But we might see some other interesting picks. Draft taking a bit. Not today, looking for probably a core, potentially another support. Probably a support here, I think. Oh, the Shadow Demon Band making good sense. Illusions of enemy Luna. Yeah. I haven't seen that that much. I, I feel like we've seen a lot of Luna recently. I'm so glad the Shadow Demon combination with Luna has kind of sort of died down. It's mostly just been a lot of Luna, but not a lot of Shadow Demon with it, you know? Yeah. It's I not agree. the same as it used to be. That was no fun at all to play no. against. No. I, I played a lot. Of Watch your base die. This is a hero they don't pick a lot in this region. This hero is picked a lot everywhere else. Yeah. But for some reason they're not in that keep of the light train yet. Well, uh, not today draft reminds me of the. Was it the SG draft last game? Or I think it was not today's draft as well, wasn't it? Like three heroes that just looked really strong early game. Yeah. Auto sinking on dying. That's a try line right there. Five seconds remaining. Yes. That's not fun. You should get in there and fight him. If you, yeah, I'm supposed to deal with that. Reserve time. Farm for 50 minutes. I think is one way. Very true. The chakra magic gonna be super useful. For I haven't seen too much keep it honestly, but I'm excited to see chakra magic and all what the cop, you know, the cuddle can do. He's not very exciting. No. He kind of just waves his staff. Everything dies, and no. then he runs around and heals people. This is another hero. This. Actually, uh, not today. Picked this exact same support combination, and it works so well. Dazzle and Rubik did so much work in the early game. You th you generally think of Dazzle as a defensive support, but they roamed around the Shadow Wave kill on they had actually did so much damage, and they got so many kills with just the Rubik Dazzle and plus one hero sometimes. I think it's gonna work against Sing. I mean, no, it's, it's yeah. okay against Coddle, but there he is. There's, the there, there's a Luna counter that we keep seeing. Yep, it's gonna be interesting. A lot of right click. They're like not today's draft right now. I think it's doing a lot of things they need. Counter push against Luna push. Uh, they got lots of lockdown, lots of good team fight. Yeah. Ten seconds. What are they going to pick against terribly? First thing, it's like a poker. They're gonna play Axe. What else they? Uh, SG. But the TV kind. Of. Beastmaster. Ooh. Okay. Beastmaster. Another single target lockdown spell. Fantastic against illusions. <laughs> what if he gets 25 and gets a wild axis perk? So good. Is it? Yeah, you one shot. Creep Wait, what is your. I, yeah. I can't remember. What it, is it? Plus they, 250 damage on wild axis. And, that, and that's each way. Yeah. So it's, it's basically. Physical, right? Yeah. 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 You one shot creep for remaining. literally the end of. You just keep the way yeah, you just keep it's everything like pushed a, in. It's not like a thirteen second cooldown or something small Let me see. smallish. It's uh yep, thirteen, you're right. Pretty nuts. Yeah. Well, didn't actually make it even. Last less. time I played Beastmaster, I think I got the damage perk because I was like I had a decent amount of items and then I realized like very rapidly I was like, that was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have I was like I could just one shot creep waves instead of like actually having to push with ores and boring stuff like that. Alright, Alchemist ban. They're scared of a potential five man. 
push with Beastmaster Luna and a Fat Alchemist in the front to tank everything. A substitute that they could do. Invoker. The ADR Invoker. Let's go. We've got some AoE now for uh, Terrorblade. Whoa! Storm! Hey. I don't know if this is the best Storm Spirit game. Against Roar, too? It's not even that, it's like the... SG's lineup screams 5-man at you, right? And Storm's kind of the hero that just dodges all 5-man sort of activities and just tries to gear up. Yeah. I, I kind of like it as a combo with Coddle, though, because yeah. you should be able to switch yeah. really yes. heavily. And, and like the Keeper Light and the Terrorblade and the Storm, also all all three of them being able to help split push too, for sure. Terrorblade especially. He was very good at finding Dazzle in fights. Start the fight on him. I'm, not, I'm uh, not against this, honestly. This looks just like the IG draft. The uh, Life Stealer. Yeah, I think it was IG. Uh, yeah, they went Storm Spirit, they had a Life Stealer, they delayed the game with a push for a very long time with Auto, mm -hmm. and they were against like a Dazzle lineup, it was very similar. Very hard to push into Coddle and to dive into and die. Just have to see, you know, sometimes these five-man lineups, they just run into this wall, and they just can't get through, God. you know? And then sometimes they get the pick, and they just steamroll enemy's base. No. Why must they do this to me? Is in the bathroom. Me. Who's that smoking? One chips? At least she gets eaten. Busy up there. Yeah, people are yelling. Yep. Need to cast some Dota. This is the last. Uh, this is the last game, of course, of the South American region. It's the Grand Finals, Game Three. How did you guys feel about the fact that there's not a Game Five, like Five game, best of, best of Five uh, Grand Finals for the, the qualifiers? Consider twenty tournament. games. Games. It probably is too many games, but I personally don't like the best one. Yeah. Save stuff. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan, but I understand why it's like that. It might be better for the tournament, actually. I'm kind of with you, too, honestly, but... It's hard to get excited for a best one. I, I don't know. Part of me thinks, like, I think it would be super interesting because you could do some crazy things and anything can happen in a best of one series against any team. So that's part of why I'm on board. But then you maybe get... You get owned by a cheese strat, and then something like it just kind of bothers you. It's a bad news for now. Have explained to that more. Um, what? Losing a, a game against cheese or having a bad taste in my mouth? Not both, actually. I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the way that you're thinking. <laughs> All right. All right. And with that, we're gonna head into the game. <laughs> oh man. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright, as long as, uh, it's okay. I'm just glad you're having a good time when you're this tired. I had some really good, really good dick jokes yesterday. Did you? Yeah. I'm sad I missed them. King RD is the Rubik player here. What are you doing here, is Shannon? New, is this the new strat? You just type each other's names out in all chat to... Yeah, <laughs> it's the taunts. <laughs> to dox each other in real life? Yeah. Uh, do you do that, Brax? No. It's like you're playing against Sam, you're just like Sam. That's when I message him and he blocks me instantly. <laughs> <laughs> just like, why? Oh, uh, I love Sam. And too bad Freedom didn't make it through. The IX Mike tweets afterwards would be They would have been so great. Glorious IX Mike tweets. Yeah. It would have put so much shame to the other teams, you know, yeah. to get tweeted at like that after they lose. Because what can you even say? You can't say anything. You just have exactly. to take you it. You can't flame them. You, you just have beat to take you. It. The battle begins. Not today. And SG, I think nobody. They might have Twitters if they do. I don't know what they are. Maybe I'll look for them afterwards. Who knows? Maybe they'll become the new hot thing as the, the, the major goes along and maybe they start winning some big games. But it is, of course, the last game that's going to decide everything. And how are the lanes shaping up right now? Maybe Undying with the Sand King bottom, as you guys, I think, had correctly predicted. Um, and then a tri -land bottom for... I really like that they put Dazzle in this because they needed something that has really strong weight. Yeah. Well, Sand that King is uh, jungling. So there won't be that uh, does he have an Iron Town? strong lane pressure. He, he does have an Iron Town. Yeah. That, that's not tracking. And he's also got the Caustic Finale as well. I think Sand King jungling right now is, is pretty good. It's not the same as the Sandstorm, you know, when you get, like, level 3 Sand King. More than two points. Early. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It just doesn't happen. It's been a, a very long time. But that sandstorm uh, damage on you. Have I tried it? 
No, Is the resp one? Oh, I've tried it, but it's 50 sandstorm it's damage. Terrible. DPS versus my 30 seconds respawn time. Uh, that's funny. Alright, how's this matchup gonna be? Poker has an edge. Poker probably should be doing pretty well, especially as the levels progress. Yeah. Both heroes farm, but Invoker has more damage. Better be. Yep. More be cool. They don't have the Dazzle here, but damn, they already do oh. a lot of damage. You just dodged the... Ooh, the gate? Yeah, oh. that was a good attempt, but... Uh, that, just with those two alone, being able to kill that and dying, I think it's pretty solid. Being Dazzle's like pulling or something That's in the meantime. you gotta pick Sven. Yeah. <laughs> There's no hail die. I have too much armor. They actually thought they blocked with that observer ward. They did not. Have a split. The small camp was there. Did he? Uh, did he do it before the camp assault? And hold on. Let me. Let me turn off this. I can't see. It's in there, dude. It is in there. It's in there. I, okay. You know what? Come on. Come. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. You can't give me a break. One with the soul. Oh! oh my God. Wait. King RD was backing for no reason, but that was actually very dangerous. Jesus. Alright, well, sorry about that, everybody. That was my bad. It's definitely my bad. God. Anyway. And yeah, they did block it, so it looks like it's... Okay, that's a little fun now. If uh, Decay dodged, though, when the Pope Hunter's tank was pretty sick. Oh, yeah. So if his Decay landed, he definitely would. Yeah, that TP. Maybe not though, I guess they interrupted the, it. It, yeah, it, it, was, it, I it was close. It killed him and also interrupted it. I'm not sure. I think it would have interrupted it for sure. But they are going to give Kotaro Hayama a free farm in this top lane. It seems like he's playing some vastly different heroes than what he's used to playing, like Ursa and Lestar. Not that you know, he can't play those heroes, but it's just a thing. Yeah, it's like he gave up on the style heroes. Yeah. He, I think he's become a more well rounded player since then. Yeah, we haven't seen him too like, much. Don't we want him to be like the way he was? I think he could still probably play that way. You know what I mean? It's... The grand stun game. Just... Comes out to heal. Poison touch. Just some harassment from Cat, but nothing doing. Yeah. Been yeah, how's it going? Eight thing. to sixteen CS. Again, this will be a bit better for ADR later on, but right he's, now Leo uh, Style is crushing it. This is a Quasp Wax Invoker. He's got two points in Wax. He does. In one point, he's already... I think he just got the Exorb for the Alacrity. Yeah. Alright. Takes so much damage from the right click. I'm unsure why he felt the need to go Quasp Wax for the game. Maybe EMP against some of these heroes, or... Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good against like Leo Style is... Cold Snap, actually, it just narrowly hits him. I don't know if he'll still be able to get the kill. He's gonna go for the pull. Keeping it is gonna be Hunter Stinger right now. Leo Style Solar might save his life. The EMP comes out. Two more auto attacks will do the job. It's the Tornado that does it. Hunter Stinger, he doesn't have Decay or Soul Rep, and no range for the auto attack. Shadow Wave comes out. He's pretty tanking with the uh, Decay stacks, but he will not be able to save the ally. That is Leo Style. Uh... Luckily, he has a boar, but I think he... Oh, he has no mana. He he's still dead. Trouble. He's still... He's, I would be shocked if he lived through this. He needs three mana and some time. He might actually... Ma he, he's gonna live. He's actually gonna live. There's no way... Oh, my God. He actually lives. That was the only path he could have juiced as well. Yeah. I thought he was super fine, honestly, because the... By slowing the main one, the, the illusions would have to do, like, two volleys of attack. Right. So, that was... The boar was the biggest thing there. For sure. Burrow Strike from King Tekken, all by Decay. They have Solar, but they wanted it to level 2. Really, you should have hit that range. Would have done a lot of damage. But... It's the worst when you win it to low and you try to one-shot a Sang King, but it lives. You have to attack it the second time before it blows up. Yep. So much loss, really. Plus, your finale is kind of a finicky spell like that, I think. Sang King's base damage, really. It's okay, but it's not like up to the coin. How much is the invoker caught up? Not much. One three one. Yep. Yeah. It really is. All for lacrity, I suppose, even though it's only ten damage. Yeah. yeah it should yeah, be like it's... thirty level one, but yeah. Yeah. it's a nice yeah, attack speed with it too, but I don't know if he's really it's not yeah, really that useful. It's good for trading, I guess. It's not just not it's not that I mean, <laughs> Right, this game already, there's more kills than there were in the entire like first 20 minutes of the last game. 3-1. to one. Some action happening. 
You gotta be aggressive. Don't be afraid to play your style of Dota 2 in the Grand Finals. Come on now. They're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He seems to want to try to fight this cold snap. He's level 6? Yeah. He's gonna be fine. Only level 1 Sunstrike can be queued it up, so... He will kill. Alright. What are you guys feeling right now? How are you feeling about this game? Tired. I know that much. If I added, how are you feeling about this about game? Looks like I made a mistake. Yeah, I feel like SG has some kills, but they don't mean too much. Like, not today, they're still leaning just fine. You know, sometimes you get a kill every now and then, but they just it's come not back. even by that much. Surprisingly, only 500 gold actually. Yeah. What is, what is the call been doing this? Like, uh, uh, so he, mid he was messing with the Beastmaster jungle early on in the game. Okay. Now he's kind of just riding the force around. I, mean, I was doing better than I expected to be doing. Iron Talon Beastmaster. Oh, that's a bald-headed eagle. That is. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> One of Mott's five favorite birds. <laughs> Mott's favorite bird, the bald-headed eagle. And Morning Dove. I didn't actually like Morning Dove. That You're like, uh... You put, you, bird. You, you put me on the spot, and I was like, okay. I me. Guess. It was that guy in Twitch chat. Don't look at me. Well, you told, well I, you saw it. I didn't see it. So. I think so. Rax can confirm this. I'm sure he doesn't. Yes, the bald-headed eagle is the best animal in all of America. That's right. By the way, I'm just, I'm, you don't is under I think it's gonna be okay. I don't think. I'm you know, quite fine. Uh, I get a rotation from a uh, shoot. See the two-one tower. Yeah, pressuring the uh, terror blaze lane. Not yeah, today. I'm gonna go here on Leo. He's actually got no mana. He's soaring at five. Yeah. Run and telekinesis him. Do it. Come on, you could do it. He's actually running top instead. That was an excellent opportunity for Terry to get a kill. And the triple stack spotted. Wow. Yeah, he's seen that. Let's go take this. Who did the ship leave? Huh? They can't take it regardless. That Fable doesn't really do that much. It's gonna take a while. But while this is happening down bottom, Cat on the IR of the rest of not today. Nice. All right. You can drink some water, eat some potato chips now, Kevin. You got time. Oh, just kidding. Sick. You're 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 out of time. Okay. One more sip then. There you go. Good work. It's dead. <laughs> I'm very worried for Invoker's game. Weird skill. Not even that. He's like cross wax and he's playing from behind. Oh, like, he's uh, actually still from behind. Yeah, he, he's gonna go Midas like. So. I don't even yeah. feel like uh, cross wax is that good in this game. Like, literally, you play cross wax for EMP and Tornado. Okay. Pretty underwhelming. They could have gotten some kills with Sunstrike too and, and Roar at this point. Yeah, x lane's much better too. So. They're letting the Sarah Blade farm rather well. Luna, Luna as well too. Pretty okay, damn good. Scan will connect, but I don't know how much information that gives them. ADR back up. The TP top too. They might set something up here on, on King Tekka. He's getting pretty close to his Blink Dagger, but he's going to head to the trees and now Abo has been spotted by the trees. The axes might spot him. Roar doesn't get there in time. He had the bird too. I think it was a bald-headed eagle. Uh, actually, it could be a falcon. I don't know. You know, you know. Definitely not a falcon. No. Okay. Sorry. If it was. Pretty disagree. You're about a bird price. Man, are you good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, solo kill on the. Uh, what skill do you use? Oh, yeah, Burrow Strike. Yeah, Burrow Strike. They had a Sun Strike. Because that was only like a level one Sun Strike. Yeah. We, we, we all know that this guy's really invested How in his Wex. Is it 100 damage? Yeah. Maybe that was the difference maker. Yeah, I guess so. That's crazy that he, just, he was able to essentially solo that Sand King. And he's still Burrow Strike. Now he's a Blink Dagger. King RD, by the way, I don't think I told you guys this, but he. He is one of the best Rubik, at least in his region. He's one of the best Rubik guys. To be. Like, very strong player on this hero. Like, he makes some insane plays. It's not gonna stop now. So you got Burrow Strike. Roar. You get this guy. ADR. Hold snap. Tornado first. Can they still bring him down? No. Yeah, that was difficult. No way of stopping him from jumping after that tornado was done. Unless they had he hit it. He was out of mana though. So this one time we were in Korea, and uh, we picked Storm. 
playing a scrim against this team, and they had an invoker who went quas wex. Mm -hmm. Then he bought a Dagon afterwards, and he would just like tornado EMP blitz, and he would Dagon him right afterwards. And because he was trying to rush like an orchid or something at the time, he never got to a place where he just didn't die from the Dagon. He just lost the game. It wasn't like blitz played badly, they just like owned us. And I thought the Dagon was kind of cool. What team was it? I have no idea. Is this some random Korean team? No. no. It was two teams. Okay. That sounds like somebody I see a team to do. Oh, that's another solo right. kill. Yeah, there it is. He's uh, the king for a reason. Yes, he that's is. That's good the stuff king. right there. Hashtag the king. There's only one king, and it's not Snake King. The king RD's up there now. He almost has his book one, too. Pablo is farming very well. Yeah. What happened to the Helm of the Dominator build on these? Operated? Maybe. Could be. Could it's be. really fun, I must say. Just run around with a bunch of little dudes. You, like you, have, a, you have a zoo, essentially. Yeah. yeah. You have Noah. That will attack like. 65 attack speed faster. Oh yeah. At least he's already got the uh, Dominator Aura from Luna. So. Alright, let's take a look at this. He didn't want to build so, two. We already talked about the blink, we already talked about the, the Necro. Got a blink for King Tekka. He just got Dragon Lance for Kotaro. That was a really rich skill build on the side. We sold it. Yeah, and then the one, the two into two still, yeah. Two tomb is whatever, but so I don't think I've seen somebody max it first. Yeah. But it does super reduce the cooldown down to six. Maybe the purpose is if they get the cooldown really low, they can keep Storm alive or whoever gets comboed because uh, SG is so burst heavy. This is a gank. Avo is gonna run into them, proceed to run away. Only the more than likely die here. He's gonna use Roar. Great tornado, but can he get anything else done? Bro strike actually missed because of the blinding light. It doesn't matter, but one of those mistakes that kind of wastes some time. Jumping in, King RD Burrow strikes away, pretty short. He has Blink up in one. Getting attacked though, Cold Snap coming in, Fabled on top of it, EMP coming through as well. Now the Eclipse, they'll take down one, they're gonna get two with another auto attack from HFN. A double kill for him, and so they turn it around, and I think not so they get too greedy there. No man on Terrorblade. Yeah, he's... Do they see him? King RD is a player, dude. He, I told you, man. He is. He is like, very good. Four man Fade Bolts. He didn't even look squishy in that fight. It's very... Uh, I liked his lift trajectory as well. Grabbed the Undyne, I think, threw him on top of the Sand King. Yeah. Even if it was... He knows he's there, dude. Yeah, he sees him. Kotaro is in trouble. He has no mana for Sunder. Is he? Oh, actually... Oh, he doesn't have mana. The Grave. Now he's out of Metamorphosis. This should be a kill. They have another Leaf Spirit coming here. That was so close. Big kill. Very big kill. Stupid. Almost done. Ghost walk there. Done. Oh, you fool. Go back to yelling. Upstairs. Yeah, we can hear you upstairs, you bat. It's like, oh, Slax is awake. I can hear him screaming. Yep. Get out of here. I do like my sweater. Alright, this might be a dead storm. Oh, King RD, does he see him? Uh, I think he just saw him jump. Oh, an invis run. Yeah, that sucks. They have dust, but they're not going to use it. I don't think they need to get an invis run on They did snipe that centaur, though. God. Yeah. It's the little thing. It adds up. They're setting up a game top now. Yeah, this is trouble. Flank Burrow. Tavo, I think you're done, buddy. Perhaps. Can he get this off? He wants to roar somebody. He's trying to use it on Leo style. Leo style is actually out of mana. That's what's going to come out. Lucent Beam, but here comes the reflection of Tara Hayama. So they won't get the return in the game. However, the tornado will come out. I'm dying. Going to use the Flesh Golem to push it back ADR. Who still, by the way, doesn't have Midas, I want to point out. It's not great. Uh, he's having a rough game. It's alright, dude. He's got the late game covered. Well, normally, you see invokers like at the very top of the net worth. That's definitely where he wants to be. That usually only happens when he kind of ignores his team, you know, and just farms the whole map. The lack of being some strike. Yes. Right, right, right. So, like, he's going to play it for that style. How many do you? How many points in class do you get after you max flex? Before you put your your all of your shit in the exhort. Historically four, but that was only because you needed four for four double four. Yeah. I think yeah. now this is way too many. Yeah. yeah. Like two max. He has a lot. Yeah. So Wex actually does not scale that well. Like what tornado range? But I have some plans far enough. Range damage and then it's just EMP. the EMP. And it doesn't even blow up faster anymore. Like okay. back speed from. Uh, I like to be. Yeah, oh. just better just get like Isn't it meatball travel four, distance too? Points. It is meatball travel distance. But you don't need more than Yeah, like that three. doesn't really matter. I think with the travel distance, it's not the biggest. I like to see like uh, 
Well, sometimes the Milkers will start quest wex because they like feel like they need the spells or whatever. Well, mm -hmm. they're not the team fight, so I'll shut up. I think they might be able to get some healing. The mana before. burn! And you have no mana to thunder now, so tornado comes out. And no, it's all worth it. Epicenter. It and he just runs! King Tekka, he just runs after the epi gets popped. He's like, we can't fight this. He already blinks onto the high ground, Fade Bolt. He actually... That's not great. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Just run. Okay, well, I mean, they wasted that epicenter. They got the kill on the um, Kotaro Terror Blade, so good stuff. Yeah. They went through a mana burn entirely. Oh. That was good. Although he probably would have died, even if he was expert there, regardless. Uh, big meatball off the Ruby Cliff to War. Mm -hmm. Alright. This... He was about here a moment ago. Right. With his Midas in that team fight, he gets roughly a thousand away from the storm. Storm has a full bloodstone working on his trick now. Still like can't do much with bloodstone, you know? It's yeah. like I have this item that makes me tanky I can snowball, but I'm still gonna farm. Yeah. Another pause. What do you think it's for this time? I don't know, there's only They spilled their ice cream cone that they're eating all the time. <laughs> You think they're eating ice cream right now? Damn right. Eating with the left hand, clicking with the right hand. You don't need to use. You never play one-handed. He's I playing do. a hero. What what hero doesn't need to use uh, abilities this game? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think right. <laughs> definitely. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play Carl again. <laughs> or he could be. Um, I don't know. It's probably some computer issue, Storm honestly. Spirit. Really talented storm spirit. Just doesn't use any abilities. That's, that's rough. Storm spirit one-handed is not an easy one. Maybe he has like his ultimate bound like, if there was a wraith, button or something. If there was a Wraith King in this game, I'd say definitely that hero, but that's not... Uh, oh, they have some lag issues. Unstable internet, no good. A reminder, everybody, SG is from Brazil, not today, I believe, are from Peru, for the most part. I think they might have a mixed team, but... Um, I know Kotaro, Masoku, a couple other those guys are definitely uh, Peruvian. Two different regions, or at least two different countries for grand final year. It's pretty hype that we got all the way to the last game, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty stoked about that, to be honest. How do you guys think these teams will match up against um, all the other teams? <sighs> I'm, I don't think very well, honestly. I, I, I hope they do, but... But... I think back to Frankfurt. Yeah. I, I think that... Find Alchemist Armlet was a premium player. That's right. Yeah, but the thing the about one. that team is they had Atun on it, and Atun is a much more skilled individual player than a lot of these players in this game are, in my opinion. Then why are they here in Atun? Not well, Atun has... Well, yeah, that's true. Atun was in this, actually, but he lost really hard. I, I think know. the uh, bold end from this team had something that most teams didn't have, right? They didn't really care. That's kind of what I mean. Anything. They just kind of manned up and did whatever they thought was good. Yeah, like, stay playing Alchemist with... Exactly. Like, I don't, I don't see any of that sort of confidence from these teams yet. I would agree. Yeah, it, this is more serious for sure. The way they play it. And they don't have Z-Talk because they got banned. Yeah. You know, don't match, that's match the, fix, kids. It's that's, bad. I agree. That, I agree 100%, but it makes me a bit sad that some of the best players in this region are now gone from Alchemist because of that's some dumb decisions they made as kids. Which is uh, actually more likely that there's better players because the better players are going to get better payouts for throwing. More likely going to win. So, if anything, the, the best players in the region are more likely to be cool. Well, you shouldn't throw in the first place. Yep. You know what? I don't even think about all that stuff. Betting. Immorality. Yeah. Premarital sex. Just don't. Be, just be yeah. a good person. Just be a good person. That's right. Maybe not the premarital sex thing. You can do that. That's fine. Or you can live your life how you want. Yeah, exactly. Life. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. That's true. You just did. You just told people to have premarital sex. I said it's okay. <laughs> I said I approve of it. No, my approval is not the word of God. Like, your walk back was very, like, pro-sex is all I'm going to say to you. <laughs> You're like, no, you guys, seriously, you should really try to recommend it. I like it. That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about that. You get the ages. HFN will pick it up. Talking about how they'll like match up against the other teams, well, that's like the first step, you know, into that, sucks. <laughs> that too, but like improving, you know, playing against the better teams. Exactly. Yeah, you've got to get absolutely. your ass kicked a couple times for it to really start learning. And I think I think the major is a good place where you can all play on land. You can you can all you can play multiple group stage games, you know, and, and get get a feel for things. And I think just a really good feel for getting <laughs> getting yeah. your beat, getting beat. pretty much. <laughs>
<laughs> like, wow, this is, you'll know how to take Very enlightening. Sure. I'm just, Instead of getting my ass beat on 200 ping, I'm getting my ass beat on zero. I feel so privileged coming here to get my ass beat by all of you better players. Very how to deal with my negative emotions. Yeah, but yeah. Warning not to uh, leave the game after I die. No, no rage quitting, no item dropping. Right. We actually haven't seen any of that yet. No, I think these two teams have been manned. Like, it's yeah, the grand finals. Let's that, step. No. Come on, man. No, I, I don't believe you. We just haven't caught it on camera yet. You're probably right, I actually. I feel like they're growing up a little bit or something. I, you, they usually do it in the earlier stages of the game, I think. Like, yeah. that shit used to happen constantly. Like, mm -hmm. every eight seconds, kind of. It was like obscene how often they did it. When the mid laners were, like, duking it out, you know? Uh -huh. He'd, like, deny a creep, drops his boots or, you know, his null or whatever. It was like that all the time. Maybe they're just less willing because they have backpacks now. Maybe they're just constantly putting hands in the backpack. We just don't see it. Yeah. That's Aurora. He's Echo, Mana Drain, Throw Struck, King RD, crushing it again. It's pretty easy to crush when you have Throw Struck as an ability. So. Poker's catching up. Look at this. Oh, they were, I thought they were. I thought the Coddle was over here and he was recalling somebody from them, but instead he's recalling this. Get right back to the base. Alright, what do we got here? A lot of recipes. Yeah. Necro 3. So, uh, when you make your Necro 1 to Necro 2, do you just take the recipe and just tape it into the last page of the book and then yeah, it just becomes kinda Necro 2? It's yeah. like that, it's like that one line of, like, that one spell in the book that really gets you, you know, you that extra bit of them. But like, the only difference between, like, the next page is one says one, the other says two, and the last one says three, right? <laughs> so that's in the spell. <laughs> you just have to change the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> the book must say two yeah. on page two. <laughs> uh... You need to make a real necro book. Oh wait, they're all the same recipe. Yeah, they are. That that is very true. So maybe you just have to have mean? three of them, three of the recipes, like three have to have the three pages together. All right. Take your staff of wizardry and your belt of giant strength. You just wrap it in a recipe, oh. <laughs> and it's just a book. <laughs> and then you just put two more pages in, so it's basically a book with like two pages on the inside or something. Uh, oh god. That's why we don't question Dota. It's like items. that old you, that old picture of Sven trying to put together a Daedalus. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking oh, about? The Crystallis, actually. Yeah, oh, it was a Crystallis, okay. Yeah. Same thing, though. But yeah, it's just like, how is this going to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make out a list with a sword and like a. Dust, Glimmer Cape, Sting, Valley of Void. Good item. Three points of Soul Rip, and then he just gives up on the skill. <laughs> I don't need the fourth. The, the I need the extra. Four is damage slash heal. But the cooldown goes from 12 to 6. Yeah, that is nuts. I'm surprised. What that said, level 4 tomb is super important too, because it yeah. goes from like 5 hits to 7. He's level 10, by the way. It's not great. Pablo just got his bags too. Burrow Strike, King RD was able to try to find that Sand King. Luna's farm is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened. There was a point there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting lots of crews. She killed a uh, couple of She also 204. I think she might have had yeah. some South Wolves at the beginning of the game. And not today is basically like, what, a Sand King and a Storm are the ganking heroes right now? Yeah. So I feel like she's just always farming aggressively because she knows that she won't get killed. The 6,000 net worth lead here for the, the Radiant. It's going to get more as the game progresses. It's going to get some light. It's going to uh, not get the time to fight. It, it was starting out pretty hectic, and all of a sudden we've slowed down. This is the period of the game where it's like, okay, let's just chill, everybody. What happens when, when team has Aegis, right? They like dictate the pace of the game now, whether they want to fight or not. The other team is pretty scared to fight into them. For the most part. Boy, his farm's good. Yeah. He's not afraid to farm in front of their towers, pretty much, in front of their face. Alright. Yes, the tome. And the quick buy. How come a tome is part of making it grow free? Maybe it will be one day. That would be really bad though, because then you wouldn't be able to get the experience. Why don't you just buy the the tome of experience, rip the pages out, <laughs> slide some necro recipes in there? But then the book cover isn't the necro book cover. It's not gonna work. Magic. You need to build it with the staff and the belt, obviously. Yeah, true. Exactly. If you buy a tome of knowledge and the staff of which you're gonna build the strength, you're you're gonna make it work. But otherwise, I have. Oh, you got the magic resist. Yeah. This is a good game for it. What did everybody else get? Yeah, I know. I'm just checking everybody else right now. But why don't we talk? But the Luna that All we right, want to talk. Let me look at the Luna then. Jeez. 
kind of a big loss for illusion attack speed, but 10% magic resistance when she got like 2k HP already. That's a lot, that's 200 HP if she only takes magic. There's a lot of magic. The rest they can't on that. She'll be quite invulnerable towards Storm right here, so. The BKB. Got it. That's, uh. Is it time for SG to maybe make something happen here? Nah. Right. Probably not, but that's uh, yeah, they're all stages. Yeah, they just gone. They're not doing anything with the Aegis. When, when there's no Aegis, they're still not gonna do anything. Use your Midas. All the creep camps are gone! No! Oh god. That sucks. You know, okay, Mott. I mean, that hurts. No, I'm gonna. Force point six hundred. Storm now with almost an orchid. All right, he's finally got it. Just look over at chat. Mod approved my sex. <laughs> uh, welcome everybody. <laughs> You're welcome for the. Yes. Beast master building is really bad. I think. Orchid. I'll let you down. They TP, but they see a tornado. Oh my god. He's out of mana, too. If they EMP there, too, we probably ah, no, he is, he is, he is, he is. Maybe Rubik catches up. Oh, it was a big hero. Tavo going down. What was he building? Oh, he is good. good. Yeah. I think uh, Luna can hit a really good timing with Butterfly and Aegis. Next item, you think that's next item, Butterfly, and then they start making some moves, I think. Yeah, I can just put it in a quick play right now. Alright. That's a really good one item. Storm, never gonna work towards MKB. Bloodthorn's not that great. He still wants to like tank his illusions up with Scott, probably. Yeah, they have a pretty good window, like they're set up for it. He's 6,000 gold ahead of the TV. Like, yeah, he is. I, he looks that's like insane an to me. Yeah. That's insane. Like, I know you have blades and everything, but it's not like terribly at farm slowly. Gonna have butterfly. Roche is up in 10 seconds. We just slowed the game down. We'll crawl at, essentially at this point. Tome of Knowledge has been purchased. Let's see if he wraps it up in the staff of Wizardry and the belt. That new Necro book. SG's got their uh, items coming together. Solar Crest. Fantastic at uh, Sieging High Ground. You just slap it on Luna. Just everything. Can't really deal enough damage to force her off most of the time. Quite good. Yeah, I there. Alright. Like, just the fact that he was there just gives me confidence in his farming still. Yeah. Like, he just knows that he's gonna react correctly. Mm -hmm. Like, those are the kind of little things, like the way that King RD's been playing. It gives me hope when they hit the when the game gets the Right, right. Poor Dazzle. He actually might live. Now that they were gonna kill him. Now, of course. Still, though, tells me he's out. Eclipse is here. HFN oh. trying to fight, but actually getting manhandled. By SQM or Chris Harayama. Leo style running low on mana. Still can jump in once that last auto attack, but the roar comes out with the tornado on top. So the stack turns does. Still will get the kill with the burrow strike two down, but meanwhile, SQM full HP, no sunder needed. However, getting burned up by the Necro Archer and Necro Warrior. Now it's just the Necro Warrior. It's a two for one exchange. They somehow only lost to Dazzle. Meanwhile, ADR is on, uh, I don't know, some sort of SQM option. I think he's planning to kill somebody. Yeah, I think he wants SQM. He's out of mana for sunder. Take a shot for a certain time. 5,000 heal, oh my god. Yeah, that's. Oh, I think that, again, just really showed the limitations of Luna versus Terraboid. Spawns yep. a couple illusions, your eclipse doesn't work, he pops BKB. This single target damage is better, but once the butterfly comes up, she can win that fight. Or maybe if she had Ice Steel instead of Helm. But... Yeah, Satanic, something like that. Yeah, Dazzle being dead played a huge factor in that, too. Yeah, you know, that's uh, true. Evasion from the Solar Crest weave coming up. It took him so long to even get that kill. That, that hero should die instantly, but he's somehow still alive for yep. a while. Oh, Stinger, buddy. First strike. Jeez. But this uh, two heroes just fighting each other. Like, Luna versus the Terrible. Terrible is much stronger. You can see, like, the gigantic net worth difference, and still, you know, Terrible destroys Luna in the play. We all see that rap. No. no. Alright, I'm hearing things <laughs> like this. It's really weird. It's a really weird laugh. Smile laugh. Anyway. One tower trade for Roshan. 
Polar Crest is up and on it. Get him that AP, that butterfly. Commander just in case. He even had alacrity on him, which is when he fought those Airblades, and he still lost. You're probably right. Airblades got like 30 armor, probably at this stage of the game. At 28. Yep. Not one of line. A butterfly is going to be complete. Though, and he's going to have, but he's going to have MKB though pretty soon. I think it's fine. Like, even if he's going to get through your evasion, um, an MKB forces you to buy an item that's majority magic damage. It means that when BKB is active, it doesn't even like. Yeah, he's got true strike, but it only counters the evasion aspect of the item. Right. And he still gets himself like an extra six armor by the butterfly agility. He's got butterfly right now. He doesn't have MKB now. This is uh, this is go time. This is it actually. This is their window. He has also a Hellbear Smasher, the best of creeps to have. I don't actually think they can do anything. They just sit behind the Luna in the background. Keep it away from the though. I mean, look at look at mid right now. Rough. And bottom's not really in the best position either. Yep, they need to set themselves up so they can actually get to their base without losing too much. They'll have mid pushed in. They're actually using the illusion to do so. These illusions are just going to create a creep wave on, creep wave on their own. Easy. Meanwhile, battle is going to be annoying. Illuminate. This is, this is awful. Wait, There's nothing you can Rubik. even do about that except yeah, pipe. Rubik can stand there. With Null, yeah, the uh, the Null field, true. 22% magic resistance. You're, you're not wrong. Stupendous. will heal wave. Shadow wave. That uh, was not, that's not the wave. Not the move. Weave. But it doesn't work. Once their creeps get to like here, they can enter the base regardless. Really fun. Alacrity. Go fast, it goes down. Easy. There's the sword press. And Elite was on. Tier 3 is gone. They're going to try to jump in. What? Oh, he just blew up that Snecro Warrior and just that's that because of it. Hey, defense still doing work. They're almost died of the Glaives and the Nance Illusion. Leo Style jumping in and getting right through. The Alacrity is doing serious work. This Rax is just going to fall here. There's nothing they can do about it. He just died. Yep. One Illusion and some bounces. Right. Oh my god, he actually did. Now they're going to rinse and repeat, and it's uh, looking like a tough game. Yeah, that turned poorly very quickly. You were right, Brax. That was the go time. No MKB, butterfly. So your your buildings are just done. Yeah. She did so much damage to the building. Yeah. Yep. Her mantle illusions were mostly just hitting other you know, other heroes for the most part. Picking up an AC now. That's gonna be even worse for the buildings. Is Luna gonna have AC before Terrible even completes his MK? It's looking somewhat She's likely. Extremely close. You got so much gold from those blue tracks. You get more. BKB's up in 20 seconds. I'll probably try again. I don't think he'll wait to farm his item. He doesn't have a slot anyways. Even these illusions are doing some serious damage. Once they get butterfly, they just never die. So, the uh, butterfly's so good on illusions. Not yep. A she reaver get, she like 60 attack speed. Okay, so By the way, she's not getting used to getting a reaver instead. Apparently. Okay. That's a good idea. It basically guarantees you can beat the turbo even if he's under C2. You're not guarantees, but definitely gives you better options than having to rely on Dazzle. It does. It'll be both, right? He'll get graved and then pop Satanic. Makes it really easy for him to play these fights. Thanks to that nifty hand of Midas, I'm dying almost past his uh, ghost sector. Thank God. He needs it. It's the biggest item in the game for him. What about the Midas after the ghost, right? Or the after the glimmer, yeah. yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. Right. Invoker's caught up pretty well, but he's still behind the storm. Storm doesn't seem like he's done any. He's gotten one or two ganks, but. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, he can't get in there against this team, you know? Like, the five man is too strong. Yeah. He needs so many items for him to try to do that. Stolen bro, every time. Yeah. Oh. Kind of slowed it down after taking that first rank. They killed the shrine, which is good, but I feel like uh, the minute they waste like a minute or two. But, you know, they're just waiting for Satanic on Luna. No big deal. Probably better. We pipe time. Let's see how fast this dies again. So strong. And goodbye, fire. Cuddle. Yeah, that's going to be alive right now. Roar, but the Glimmer Tape is there. Solar is still probably dead. Force away. I don't know what's happening, but this game is lagging now. Leo's about wants to get the back line. He will get the silence on cap, but now 
Gotaro can't man fight this. The Sunder comes out, but the Satanic is there. Eclipse will come as well. BKB still up for Gotaro. They're going to bring down the Storm Spirit. He's dead for 40 with no buyback. Not to back up and away. Aegis just. They don't have to. to. <laughs> yeah, they'll wait a second. Maybe get the two oh, I see the Aegis was coming up. Uh, that was smart. Yep. They did lose it, uh, the heal to the. Yeah, I so. think so, yeah. Great fight. I'm surprised they did back up completely with uh, the Aegis going on. Storm went on Dazzle in the back lane. Look at Storm's network. He, he's pretty farmed, right? Yeah. He couldn't even kill Dazzle. Yeah, Dazzle. I'm, yeah, he lived, you're right. That's yeah. nuts. Polar Crest is one of the best anti storm items. Yeah, it actually is. It happened so many times. Yeah, it happened a lot uh, last night in the China qualifiers, actually, too. Yeah, man. man. Storm is pretty farmed, you're right. He didn't look like a very good hero right now. I it, mean, it just throws off because uh, every time you miss, that was a chance at overload proccing. So basically, yep. every. And then it just throws off your you're whole right. combo, and you're, yeah. then you're being less efficient. And so I like that small window, you know, in the orchid to deal as much damage as you can to zip out to. Otherwise, he uses so much more mana. It's the right play, him. but he just didn't have the damage on his own. Yep. I like the Tom. I like the Invoker Tom, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really cool. I like the orbs look really cool if you have that set. You have that set? Nah, I, wish, I think I might buy it though. Just, I don't Damn. play Invoker that much though. Shoulders. I might get it, but. Anyway. We're gonna keep that DD there. I'm waiting for Roche. I don't know when it's gonna be a minute, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't think this Luna's killed us at all. Especially no, with Eve. Right. Yeah. Just the Solar Crest, she sits at 39 armor. Ridiculous. If they find a hero to here, this could end the game. I back. He has it. Arm still doesn't for another... Okay. They're just gonna push instead. Run, Hunter! No! Oh. oh my god, that blinding light. Oh, lightning. Jump in, bro. Strike, it's on to three. The epicenter coming as well. The tornado is there. Did he cancel it? I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't tell with the lag. It looks like it did. That right click from the Luna, though, is something serious. With three dead now, and a fourth about to fall. Leo style. It's an ultra kill for HFN. And SG are going to the Kiev Major. Congratulations to them. I'm really happy for them, you know, coming out of almost nowhere in some ways, like a lot of players that aren't very recognized. Yes. And just taking a commanding victory. I think, good, uh, good for them. Yeah. All these players have been in the South American scene for probably since the very beginning. Yeah, this is the only pain gaming squad for SG, yeah. and they put in all. I'm surprised they stuck with it so long and kept the same roster and they put in some serious work. Tavo, King RD, those guys go way back to the old Dota 1 days from yes. like 9, 10 years ago. They do. Are you finally getting? Um, I guess we're just the game just kept this way. It looks like it's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're gonna. I know what they're, they're doing right now. They're busy celebrating right fighting now. each other. <laughs> All right, yeah. You yeah, idiot. We're going to the major. That's just awesome. They qualified though, like because I don't think they've ever even got close to no, never yeah. for a big land. And so they they've never even like even in South American lands. I don't think they've ever or South American tournaments or even NASA tournaments. They haven't done very well for themselves. I don't think they've ever gotten yeah. very far. Maybe first round of the playoffs in Old Canada Cup. Games. They're back. They're like guys. We still need to end. We need to finish the game. Come on. Let's we'll see our, ants, our our staff guys. Played that GPM. Well, we'll keep it on. Congrats to them. I'm 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 gonna as soon as this ends, I'm gonna throw on the game. Let's do it. I mean, it was the Luna again. They just got out, out of control. HFN is a Luna player, apparently. Yeah. But yeah, congrats to those guys. Um, real, real happy for them. Not today, who were the favorites, I think. God damn it. Can you just, <laughs> you just finish, <laughs> finish the game? Finish the game. <laughs> finish the game. All right, there you go. Congratulations, guys. You did it. SG Sports. Now with that, out of the way.